All right, so today we're gonna to continue talking about task management and the resources or tools that can help you manage your tasks effectively. If you want to see the video about that, it's going to be on your screen right now and on the description below. Hi, my name is Jorge Muñoz, I'm a senior instructor pilot working in El Salvador and as always you will find the timestamps linked in the description of this video and also in a pinned comment down below. Just in case you want to check out something in particular. Now, let's briefly remember what task management actually means. Well, the name of it should give you a pretty good idea. When it comes down to aviation, task management means that you have to actually organize yourself, your task, your chores, or however you want to call them, throughout the flight. Because the list of things that you have to do during the flight are not evenly distributed at all. We can say that for the most part, your takeoffs and landings tend to be the moments where your tasks come all together. So, to be able to manage your chores, you have to understand them, so you can know how to prioritize the ones you can during your low workload periods, aka when you are not doing too much inside the cabin. So then you are not overwhelmed by the high workload periods. If you want to know more about the very core concept of task management, then again I suggest you to click the link in the description of the video or the video on your screen right now. Alright, now that we clearly understand what task management is for us, and we have not even a sliver of doubt about it, let's talk about the tools that you have at your disposal to manage your tasks. These resources can give you valuable information, but only if you know which are they and how they can help you. Usually these sources are divided into two broad categories, external resources and internal resources. For the external ones, we have the air traffic controllers, maintenance technicians, and flight service briefers. Now, this category, to be honest, at least for me, is not that important. So we're not gonna dive so deep into it. But just so you have an idea, for example, an air traffic controller can help you with your task management by letting you know how many minutes you will still have to remain in the holding pattern before resuming your flight, telling you how many other traffics are queued to landing before you, which one is the active runway for your landing and so on. The second category, internal resources. That one is the one that I care the most about, because it's all about you, what you can and can't do inside the cabin to make life easier for yourself. And what do we have in this category? Well, we have seven items to go through. Your own knowledge and skills, your instructor and other pilots, passengers, aircraft equipment, aeronautical charts, pilots operating handbook, and the checklists. The first one, your own knowledge and skills. They are the primary reason that determines how well you can manage your flight. It's a very simple concept. You need to know what things you can prioritize, what not and how to do it. How well do you know your ins and outs of your own airplane? How well can you manage the equipment of it? How fast and efficient can you be inside your cabin? What do you do in each phase of your flight? Understanding what are the things that you have to do until the very last moment when it's time to actually do them. Which are the right times to call the ATC depending on what they have told you and your workload inside the cabin. That and so many other things that I can mention just to give you an example. You get the idea. Everything that is already within your head that you can apply naturally to make your life easier during the flight. The second one, if you are not alone inside the cabin, then why not make use of the other pilots alongside you? Now this, no matter how much you study, there is just about no one that can know absolutely everything about aviation. No one, and I mean no one, can learn all there is to weather, nor aerodynamics, IFR procedures, emergencies, and what not. Maybe they know things that you don't and vice versa. Help each other out, that's the whole point. Resolve the chores together if you have the opportunity to do so. 
And as I just said, no one can learn all there is to it about aviation. But you can try, or if you want to become an outstanding private pilot, you are curious and you want to prepare yourself in the best possible way for all the tests to come, or even if you are an advanced pilot that wants to remember and perfect the basis of the BFR world, or you want to start your private pilot training with a heads up over the others, I highly recommend you should check out my book Essential Knowledge for Private Pilot. You will find the link of the book in the description of this video. It is an Amazon Kindle exclusive. This book uses the two most effective study techniques in the whole world, which are active recall and space repetition, and it applies them into aviation. So if that sounds good to you, then please go check out the book down below. It is available in English as well as in Spanish. Remember, you shouldn't be studying hard, you should be studying effectively and with this book you can do just that. And that's it, continuing with the video, continuing with the third one, passengers. Usually under normal procedures you won't need too much help from them. But if there is an emergency or for some reason or out of the normal you really need the help from them, of course they can help. Maybe you forgot your iPad or your next chart in the baggage. Tell them to reach that for you, since they are the ones closer to it. Or maybe you are under a particular high workload moment and you don't have time to search for a particular chart. Pass them the charts and tell them which one is the one that you are looking for. I'll give you one more scenario. One of the worst things I can think of as of right now, where you can make use of your lovely passengers. You are flying IFR and you suspect that there is ice in the carburetor. So you start doing the respective procedure to solve that. Suddenly, while you are at it, suddenly you also have an alternator failure. So the pilot next to you starts helping you with that. But as he is also navigating, you ask your lovely passengers to help you reach the pilot's operating handbook, which is in the baggage, and you ask him to search for the emergencies section, and inside that section you tell them to search for the respective procedure you are performing. And there you have a beautiful way where everyone is helping with task management at the same time. Everyone is doing something useful for the flight. Going on with the next one, Again, you just have to know what you are flying with, in order to be able to manage your task effectively. You need to be proficient with your equipment, there is no way to sugarcoat this. If you are not familiarized with your own equipment, there is no way you can make task management work smoothly. You will just get lost at every step inside the cabin and get eaten by the time. Aeronautical charts, I'll keep it short. Keep your charts in order, in the specific order that you expect to use them. You know the plan for your own flight, so organize your charts in order to help you run your flight plan without any friction. The next one we have is the POH. Again, just like having your charts always in hand, Always keep your manual of the airplane where you can easily reach it, not in the baggage. If you have someone at your side, then make them look the thing that you are looking for, while you do other things like talking to the tower and stuff. And number 7, checklists. Yeah, they serve pretty much the same purpose than your POH. Usually the most important and easy to complete checklist will be somewhere in the instrument panel in front of you, like for example the takeoff and landing checklists. Complete the checklists that you can as soon as you can. If you think about it, we can say that this task management concept is about reducing as much as you can the amount of minutes and even seconds that takes us to complete something, to manage our tasks so that the flight can go with as little as friction as possible. If you found this video interesting, then you should go check out this video over here, where I talk a lot more in depth about this concept of friction. 
Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you in another video. Bye bye.